Good afternoon everyone, my name is Michael Paulino and I'm here to talk to you guys about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, specifically the role that water scarcity has on fueling the continuing unrest present in the region. But first, some basic introductory content. Israel-Palestine is located in the Middle East and has been plagued with conflict for close to 100 years. The conflict sparked in 1947 over ownership of the land and which people the holy city of Jerusalem belonged to, the Jewish or the Palestinians. The battle over ownership of the land led to wars and moments of civil unrest, like the first and second intifadas or uprisings against Israeli occupation. There is no denying that land is fueling the conflict, but another factor that is keeping the conflict from being resolved is actually one of the most abundant resources on the face of the earth. It's water. As for realities on the ground, it is reported by Nita Kamwahi Batar, a leading expert in the conflict, that of the entire population of the West Bank and Palestine, only 10% are people living in Israeli settlement camps. These camps have been subject to debate on the issue of international law violations and have been central to Israel's policy on occupying Palestine. However, despite their small numbers, these settlements use up to 95% of all water sources effectively using up an overwhelming majority of water in the region. This leaves approximately 90% of the remaining Palestinian population in the West Bank to use whatever is left of the water supply. Water is a vital resource, and instead, many villages have to go without it for days on end. The Israeli occupation of the West Bank has openly exploited the resources of the Palestinian people, as well as draw a wrench into any chance of peace talks. The further Israel continues to develop settlements in the West Bank, the greater the impossibility of eventually moving these illegal populations out of Palestine for the Palestinian people to achieve a recognized independent nation of their own. With Israel needing the unilateral control over water, as well as a lack of pressure from the international community to stop its settlement program, it becomes clear that Israel understands the importance of water to its survival as well as a key element of continued oppression against the Palestinian people.